Game is crawling. How about like this? I'm Peter Nostrecki. I'm an entomologist at the Museum of Comparative Zoology at Harvard University, and I just grew a butterfly under my skin. Human butterfly uh, has this reputation of being sort of a, the holy grail of entomology uh, because very few people have actually seen an adult butterfly. The life cycle is really interesting. Uh, it all begins with the female butterfly catching a mosquito and laying eggs on it. Then the mosquito flies and lands on the host, which is usually a large mammal. And then the heat of the uh, mammalian body triggers the emergence of butterfly larvae. They drop on their skin and they bury themselves into the skin, either through the mosquito bite or through the hair follicle. Uh, then they stay in the skin for somewhere between seven to 10 uh, weeks, after which time they emerge from the, from the hole, drop to the ground, bury themselves in the soil, and turn into pupa, which is an equivalent of a, a chrysalis of a butterfly. And then they stay underground for another a month and a half, maybe two months, and after that time, uh, the adult fly emerges from underground. The adult fly lives only for a few days, and the reason being is that they don't have functional mouth parts, so they cannot feed or even drink. Then the cycle starts again. They mate, they find the intermediate host, such as a mosquito, and hopefully the mosquito finds another host. Well, it wasn't the first time that I got a butterfly in my skin. I mean, I've been working in, in the neotropics for uh, probably close to 20 years. But in this case, I noticed that I had these butterflies in my forearms. And uh, uh, because I had never seen an adult butterfly, and we didn't have one in our collection here at the museum, my first reaction was like, uh, great, I have a second chance to, to raise it to adulthood. Most people, when, when they realize that they have a butterfly in their arm, uh, are repulsed, and that's completely natural. We have this reaction to things that, 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 that are trying to, to eat us. You know, I don't see them that way. To me, it's, it's an organism like any other. I uh, quite honestly don't see a difference between a butterfly and a butterfly. They are just insects doing their thing. Uh, they just happen to feed on slightly different substrates. I initially had uh, three butterflies in my arms, and one of them was positioned sort of very unpleasantly in my elbow, and uh, that was actually quite painful. I, I, I don't quite understand what was happening there. I so strongly suspect that the larva was very close to a, a nerve ending, so every now and then I would felt this, feel this jolt of, of pain. So I decided to remove one of the three uh, butterfly larvae, and I used um, a little device called a, a suction uh, extractor and it took just a minute and the larva was out and the, the little wound healed li literally within 24 hours. Yuck. What I've learned about uh, the butterfly is essentially this entire life cycle. I've been able to document it, I photographed it and, and filmed, it, filmed it from from the beginning to the very end. So I know how they behave, how they move, how long it takes them to turn from one stage to another. The whole experience of, of raising this butterfly was definitely very interesting. Uh, embarrassing at times, uh, because one, ha one thing that happens in their development, even though it is not painful, uh, these little wounds occasionally bleed. So I had, to, I had to be very, very careful to have them covered when I was in public. I didn't want suddenly to start bleeding from both, my, both of my arms uh, and have, ha having to, to explain what's, what's happening. But uh, other than that, it was a rather unremarkable experience in terms of, you know, feeling anything. I, most of the time I didn't even remember that I had to. You gotta love Fox Fox.